Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in Solo is a monster analysis video. We're going to be going over Bolt Scoot on. I'm going to tell you guys whether or not this monster is worth getting out of his breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Bolt Scoot on is a denier, and his traits are Days Immunity, Attuned, and Precision. Those are just kind of really bad traits. And then his relics are Staff and Amulet, which are pretty decent, I guess. And then if we go down to his pros and cons, his pros are good speed, nice relics, relics. He does actually have Vulnerable, which is amazing, and Stun, and he has access to Shock. And then his cons are Extra Turns and Anticipation Bait, which is very true. Only Stun for Denial Shock is his only Torture, which is kind of annoying. He also has Horrible Trait, Bad Life, and No Positive Effect Removal, or a TD which is trait disable and yeah since he is a denier it would be nice to have positive effect removal or trait disable just so that you can actually deny monsters that are immune to your stuff but i guess it's not a huge deal if you can get another monster with them but it is kind of annoying to have to run a second monster when you could just run one so yeah now let's go on down to his moveset so he has an aoe at 25 thunder damage with stun which is okay he also has an aoe vulnerable which is pretty great i do like that he also has a shock and an extra turn and then a stun and an extra turn so his moves are kind of basic they're not like super great or anything but i guess they're okay it is nice that he has an aoe vulnerable that is of course a pretty great move but i don't know if you're gonna want to use that when you could be denying instead so yeah it's kind of weird to have vulnerable on a deny when it's not in the deny move if this move did vulnerable and stun that would make him much better but it doesn't, so it's just not too great. But yeah, at least he does have a vulnerable. Vulnerable is very good. But yeah, overall, this monster just seems kind of eh. He doesn't have any good traits, really. His traits are just kind of really bad. And of course, he doesn't have positive effect removal or trait disable, which just kind of makes him even worse. So yeah, overall, kind of a mediocre denier. I don't think he's really worth it. I mean, he is in a breeding match, so he's really easy to get and he is free. So I guess he is technically worth it. You can go and get him, but just don't use him on your team. Don't bother ranking him up. None of that is really worth it. But yeah, go and get him out of the breeding event, I guess. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.